Another YouTuber hair product, but is it worth the hype or overhyped? Hi guys, how are you? I'm Robin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to another overhyped, another overhyped, another YouTuber hair product. I've got YouTuber hair product fatigue. I'm gonna level with you. I'm just like, do you have the qualifications to launch a hair product? I mean, that is a totally separate video. This one is overhyped. I'm gonna be looking at Dre Drexler's, Dre Drexler's Shavu Ocean Clay. Now, I covered the um, Shavu oil cleanser in a, an overhyped video a couple of weeks ago, and you know what? I liked it. Um, and Dre got in touch and said thank you very much, um, and he said he'd love me to review this one. I'd already bought it, but they refunded it, full disclosure. But Dre, if it's crap, everyone's gonna know it's crap. <laughs> I, sorry, I love playing this game. Um, anyway, we've got this one. If you're new to overhyped, then essentially, I review some of the most hyped products on the internet and find out really, are they worth your cash? That is essentially this little thing I like to call overhyped. Um, so, what is the hype? Um, to be honest, actually there's not much hype yet. It's a fairly new product. Um, I've had a couple of sort of comments from you guys asking for me to do this, but they say it's designed by the right mix of ingredients to give your hair a style, a firm hold with voluminous texture and a natural finish. Our uniquely crafted clay is reworkable to help you achieve an endless multitude of hairstyles. Wow, okay, so how is this gonna go? This one is oil-based, so it does call itself a clay, but this is one of the things that I kind of sometimes have issue with in terms of hair products. If they're gonna call themselves a clay, I kind of want that clay component on the top. But this one for ingredients I've got here, para uh, pa pa paraffinium liquidium. Par I'm sounding like I'm on Harry Potter. Essentially, like an oil-based component. Then it goes into beeswax, then bentonite, which is a type of clay. This Produ 500, it sounds like a car, um, but it's amino acid technology to strengthen, soften, repair, and color protect the hair. Um, there you go, I actually saw, I, I tend not to watch other people's reviews because I kind of want to be in it, but I saw one guy was going on about how this is like a hair mask. I, I wouldn't use this as a hair mask. Anyway, side note, packaging. Packaging I like. I think it's clean, I think it's modern, um, and it's it's inoffensive. What I like that they're doing is, it's not gimmicky. I feel like they're sort of aiming to go slightly, uh, sort of more mature, slightly more premium in their market. It feels kind of organic styled. You know, they do go on about these um, organic components and it all being very natural, and I feel like the packaging does reflect that. Also, the smell. Now, this is something which I find really unique in these products. If you have tried, uh, tried, tried the oil cleanser that they've got, I love the smell of this, but this one smells like pineapple. It is so, so good. It kind of reminds me of when I was like 17 and going out, brackets, illegally, don't do that. I mean, everyone has fun when they're younger, don't they? I had a few drinks um, and we had these shots called sours. I mean, getting again, another sort of reliving my youth, but it's sweet, it's, it's fun, I like it. Once it's in your hair, again, you can never really smell it, but I like this one. Okay, this next part of the video, I love the way I did it last time. Um, i give myself big up here, but I like the way that I did it last time in that, you know, I try it actually on a day and I show you how it works. Um, this product I have been trying on and off for the past three weeks, but I am gonna show you here, going through various parts, go. Getting right into this and looking at the consistency, this is one of the things that actually sort of first got me, in that it is called a clay, but I think this is more sort of like a wax clay, a sort of hybrid, I suppose. Barely hard to touch, and it's got this slightly sort of waxy consistency to it. That does sort of mean that you really do need to warm it up. It takes quite a lot of energy. Okay, applying it, just sweeping through. It is fairly easy to apply. That, I mean, that really does rely on you having warmed it up properly. If you don't, guys, you know what happens with, especially like wax products and anything that's slightly more sort of thick in its consistency, it's gonna get stuck in and you're gonna get bits. Okay, into styling. Pushing it right back. Um, there's the tiniest bit of tug on this, and that is just because the product is really thick. As always guys, you know, layer it up if you are going to use this because you don't want to oversaturate the hair, 
especially with waxes, heavy clays, anything really sort of heavy duty like a pomade, um, a real sort of oil based pomade, you really want to just layer that product into the hair, otherwise you are going to have issues. You know that said, it is actually fairly easy to style with, it feels like it's kind of got a bit of hold as you're doing it, but we will be talking about hold, and the hair is going where I want it. Now in terms of finish, this one says it's got a firm hold and a natural shine. Um, hold again we will talk about, but the natural shine thing I think is exactly as it is. Because it's got those sort of wax components in here, it does have a slight gloss to it, not much, but you can see there is a bit of shine. And then showing you the hold with hairspray. Right, so dark now. I've had this hair product in for, uh, must be about 10, 11 hours. And it's not done badly, this is with hairspray, still got a bit of bounce to it. One thing I would say though is I have found that it's kind of going a bit in strands and kind of dropping a bit in front of my face. And then without hairspray. Here we go, not doing too badly. It's dropped slightly, but I mean this is without hairspray, it's still quite malleable and it could be moved in. Again, I think I kind of prefer this product without hairspray. Not bad, like even when it's kind of dropping a bit, that waxiness of it is allowing it to kind of be popped back in. Washability is kind of no surprise with this because, again, very waxy. It doesn't wash out that well at all. Um, you really do need to use a shampoo and you might want to wash it twice, a bit like a double cleanse. Once to remove the product and the second time to really sort of get through the hair length and onto the scalp. So price always comes down to where you live, portion packaging, import taxes, which if you do get charged an import tax, Shavu will not help you out on that. So you are picking up that bill. Um, it's an $18.50 uh, product. $2.77, what's wrong with me? $2.77 portion packaging in the US, making it $21.27. In the UK, you've got a portion packaging, sorry, internationally, a portion packaging charge of $12.83. Again, it is so pricey. Um, I did Google this product, so if it is available elsewhere, it's not coming up. Um, I will link it if I find it, and if anyone says they can find it, I will update that description. So check that now if you do want to buy this. But as it stands, internationally with portion packaging, I'm out. I just think it's too pricey. Um, but if you're in the US and you want to try it, not a bad sort of cost structure there. Um, comparison, right, I think this product is quite similar to one of my old time sort of favourites, which was Kevin Murphy's Gritty Business, which is now discontinued which I think is an absolute travesty. Um, it's similar in that it's quite thick, it's quite waxy. It gives you this sort of same sort of hold, not as high shine, um, but great for sort of doing pumps and anything which you're gonna need that sort of waxier sort of look and finish. Also, I have said here in my notes that it is quite comparable to the flagship Dead Sea clay in that it calls itself a clay, but has got quite um, a lot of that sort of wax component in it. All linked down there. So verdict, Chavouz Ocean Clay. Height or over height? Um, right, this one we're gonna split. We're gonna split in that it comes down to the price on this one. If you're in the US and you can afford it, uh, I, I actually think the product isn't bad. I would give it a hype. I like the hold, I like that you can kind of work it again. I like the fact that you didn't really need a hairspray. I quite like the finish in it. Styling was very easy. Issue with it called a clay. I think it's more like a wax clay, as I said. Um, Internationally though, that whole sort of $12.83 portion packaging is a total deal breaker. It's just too expensive. Again, if I find it somewhere else, or if someone else tells me, I'll link it right down there. But at the moment, it's like, it's just too pricey. One thing I will say about Shavu, um, hi Shavu, is I like what they're doing. I think the product feels more premium than other YouTube creators' products. I think some of the other ones, like in terms of packaging and the actual product, I don't think they're up to much at all. I like this one, I like the way it smells, I like the ingredients, I like how it styles, and I think they're kind of onto a bit more of a winner. So I would say, forget about whose face is behind these products, and really think about the actual product. It's worth the hype, if you can afford it, and you're not in the UK. There you go. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this overhyped. Um, again, keep those overhyped suggestions coming. I want actual hype stuff, guys. Stuff that people are saying, I love this product. Other guys on YouTube, who are they talking about? What are they talking about? Let's get these products out there. Um, so leave it in the comments below. And if someone's already made that suggestion, please do thumb it up. I look at all of those and I want to get the most hype ones. But thank you again. If you're new to my channel and you've not yet pressed subscribe, then please do hit subscribe right now. The button is just 
there. There's also more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them or guys head to my blog. It's right there. But I'm going to see you in my next new video. It's going to be Sunday. See you then. Bye bye.